stay here. Which way is north? Say no. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Friends for life, we said. And now the two of you have betrayed me at once. Good morning. Do you know what betrayal means, Bertram? No. It means hurting Miss Marjorie. Why, well, I thought you liked me. I've clothed you. I fed you. Bertram does like Miss Marjorie. Yes, and Miss Marjorie likes Bertram. So why don't you go and tell me where that nasty little Magnifico has run off to so I can get on with whipping that snot nose right into shape? He owes me. He owes us big time. Bertram and Marjorie. Wouldn't Bertram like a sherry? Bertram. Like Sherry. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> Barkeep, Sherry. Make it the cheapest one you have. Rat piss will do. His pretty dance. Everything okay? Imagine saving people. Go taking on. them to your breast, and metaphorically, I mean, like a mother, caring and raising them, and then they go and stab you in the back. Have you ever betrayed a close friend? I hope not. Well. Treachery! And these are sad, low, unlovable people, and I made them stars, dreamers, entertainers, and they... Oh, no, now family's not enough. No, no, he's gone off alone. My little oh, tiny magician I... has gone and stabbed his mom on the back. Oh, fuck it, he... Oh. No! Bertram! 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 Woof, woof! Bertram! Put the nice man down! Do something! You only eat him! Um, uh, e e e easy there. Uh, easy there! Sherry! Bertram! Easy, big guy. Enough! Oh, not that out. nice! Bertram, hurt you. Ah, me! You gonna behave? No? Bertram! Come here, Bertram. <laughs> Marjorie's here. No one's gonna hurt you ever again. Mama, you should keep that thing in a cage. You should think about who you're serving. Give me a beer, will you? Don't worry, we'll pay for what we broke. Come here, Bertram. Oh, no one looks after you like Mama does. No one cares for you like I do. Especially not that Magnifico, hmm? But he's my friend. Yes, well, if he were your friend, he'd be here, wouldn't he? He wouldn't have abandoned us. Oh, you wouldn't have gotten that whoopsie, would you? Whoopsie heart. I know. Mama's gonna make it all better. But first, you gotta tell me where that little worm ran off. To, hmm? Bertram promise. Yes, well, Magnifico made a promise too, huh? He made more than a promise. He made a contract and he broke it. So you just tell me exactly where he is, and then we will all be even. That's my boy. He's camping in the woods. Why didn't you tell me in the first place? You just apologize to these men. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> You gave me a whoopsie. Hey, you just stay away from that sherry now, you hear? Bertram Black Sherry. Oh, don't you get him started. Thank you for all of your help, Mr. Stranger. If you see that slippery little fella sleeping rough out there, would you just make a little racket and then we'll come along and we'll find you? I could try. Oh, his name is Magnifico. <laughs> You'll know him when you see him. Come along, Bertram. I can't even see straight.
Whoa! <laughs> That's amazing. If you say so. Are you, uh, ah! who? Are you Magnifico by any chance? I'm not going back. She's a witch. She's a witch. Who? Presta. Well, she cares about you a lot. Well, I'm the talent. It's me. It's all me. I share the money with her, and, uh, you know, that thing. No, stay away. You've made love to her, haven't no, you? That's not She's it. a succubus. She's a succubus. <sighs> ah! Stay away from me. <sighs> hey, Oops, turn up. Come back here. She just wants to speak to you. Let me show you. Where are you running off? Hey, will you talk? I'm going in alone. Look, you got the wrong end of this. Damn. You're starting to irritate. What the hell are you pulling here? You're here, I'm gonna find you. <laughs> That's a neat trick. It's where is he gonna go? Where you gone? Magnifico! Can't magic out of this, partner. Come on now, she ain't as bad as all that. Over here, dummy. me on a merry old dance. Come on down now. Lady said you had a contract. You want me? Come and get me. <laughs> hey, uh, hold on there. Ah. So damn long, it. dummy. Where are you? You really? little really? <laughs> Too bad about that train! the Great White Way. Really? You got enough for a ticket? Pa! Because the way Big Fanny tells it, you spent all of our takings on a case of the French pox. Maybe I did. So what? What do you need a stub of a showman for? Same bad jokes? The same cheap tricks? In a package half the size? You got Bertram. You got Dummy over there. Who is Dummy anyway? The missing link? <laughs> oh, <laughs> shut up, you dimwit. You sold me out. You should watch your mouth. You don't need me. You're better off without me. Even you, Dummy. Go on, clear off. Aim for the top, all of you. I'm out of food and I'm out of ideas. Leave me for the bears. I won't be more than a mouthful. You robbed me. Whoa. You robbed uh, your brother. So you uh, are going to be pulling uh, rabbits out of your uh, ass until you are as uh, old as you are tiny. Uh, Put them up there. Uh, some friends, some friends. We ain't friends. No. We're family, as much as it pains me to say it. Family? Still after everything? Of course, you silly little man. And him? Let him at the bar agree to help. Ah, sleeping rough don't suit me much. I uh, know. Come to Mama. Oh, Be I did miss you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, don't you ever run off on us like that again. Back together. Back together! Well, I'm glad it all worked out. 
thanks to you. Thank him, boys. Thank you. Uh, thanks for nothing, dummy. No get in the back. We ought to give you a piece of the gate on our next show. You earned it. Huh? We'll be playing San Denis next. Check with the box office. Here. No one said anything about splitting the gate. Oh, shut up. Half man and half wit. Bye, bye. What I done to deserve you too? Hey, uh, the performers asked me to come see them here. I helped them out with something up in Van Horn. All right, I'll let them know you're in. Curtain's just about to come up, so why don't you take a seat, then come back and see me after the show? <laughs> All right. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. I am your host, Aldridge T. Abington. Thank you. Yes, Aldridge T. Abington. Few men have had a career more crowded with incident and various intercourse with the world than I. During extensive travel through this and foreign lands, I have procured a show so fantastical there exists nothing like it anywhere in an effort to bring this entertainment to even the poorest dreamer of dreams i have determined the ticket price should be very low and the show held without a profit to me it's true for it is blessing enough to bring these gifted artists to you I met these odd fellows in a tavern in some godforsaken place, entertaining cretins. They are quite a capricious bunch, presenting Miss Marjorie and her medical miracles. Kind of a 
What two-bit show is this? Your freak nearly killed me. No, 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 And I have tamed the beast! Drop him! Hey, ah. damn. Ladies and gentlemen, I, Magnifico the Magnificent, am a master of apparition! Oh, oh my god! And dissipation! And even the art of <laughs> Transfiguration! Wow. <laughs> All right. Oof! What the hell is I that? have mastered hypnosis, telekinesis, telepathy, and escapology. And now, for my next feat, I will relieve Miss Marjorie of her frock. This. Doing a nasty little pervert? What? Damn it! We were gonna give them a show! You're not like that, you're not! I give up! Amateurs! Go follow your brother! Well, that's our show! Thanks, Sandy! Quite something. Yeah, I gotta go deal with this. Oh, there's something here for you. Oh, good luck. These novelty acts. Don't get this with dancing girls. <laughs> <laughs>